Hi guys, it's Simon Customs here and this time I have a room build for you. Um, I tried to build a home but it wasn't working so instead we go with a living room. Um, it's inspired by something that I built before I started a YouTube channel but I know that I shared some pictures of it and people really liked it and it looks good so I figured why not try something similar and just share it with everybody. Um, I tried to go with a stone backdrop but it didn't work too well so I went with some wood and then some bluish like blue grayish render from Spade I think I love it um, it's been one of my favorites recently it's very calm <laughs> um, the orange floors work with it very well too um, but here we go with the main idea by behind this living room we put a lot of cabinets and shelves around the TV um, I think it looks great, it makes it look like you have a lot of storage space and it makes it look like you have a real thing around your TV, like sometimes you put a TV up and it's like okay there's a TV but this looks really fancy, like you have a lot of high tech <laughs> things around it. Um, we end up changing the colors, here we go already with the shells, um, it was too dark when it was all black. But for now I leave the cabinets black, but I will change it later on. Here you go, putting some decorations next to it. Um, I love those little paintings that I tried to put in, but I didn't think they would work too well. So I changed those for some metal thing. <laughs> this carpet from, I think it's movie stuff. I'm not sure what it's called, the movie pack that came with popcorn and a lot of decoration, uh, a lot of items that I wasn't too sure about, so I hesitated getting it. But I love the decorations and lights that we got with the pack. So if you ever like wonder if you should get a pack, I would say check YouTube. There's people using it to make builds. There's people just doing general reviews as well. So that's a great way of deciding whether you would want a specific pack. Um, we go putting in another little, I don't know, poof. I don't know what it's called really. Um, and we put in a little study nook at, in the side here, in the, in the side, in the corner. Um, again, using the shelves uh, and cabinets. I think they just work so well, and it's a little bit different from what you would usually see. Um, it's very dark here right now, though, but. <laughs> We will change the cabinets in a moment and then you will see that it's a lot better than what it is now. There we go. We go with this beige color which on the side set has actually pretty much the same color as the shelves. which So it works very well and it just seems to work. Um, I tried to get the table to match with the cabinet, so I changed them back to black, but <laughs> it didn't work so well. So I ended up going with a whitish table. It's not quite matchy, but it's what, it was as close as I could get. Um, I tried to limit the stuff packs that I used, just like the previous build. Um, I'll try to do that whenever I do a room build or a smaller build. I'll try, I'll try to limit the packs that I use because I know that not everybody has all packs. They're quite expensive, so that way you can all use it and you don't have to worry too much about having all the packs. And I think you can still download it when you don't have all packs. I'm not sure though, but you'll probably just miss a couple items if you don't have them. Um, and this one I used movie stuff as I said before. Um, I think there's some things from Outdoor Retreat in there. Um, get Together, I know the couches are from Get Together. And the poof and the wallpaper I think are from, from Spa Day. But that's everything I use so if you have those you should be good. If you don't, I don't know if you can download it to be honest. I think you can, you might miss a little decorations a little decoration or the couches if you don't have get together. You put in the, the like the blue and yellow cat painting. I don't know about you guys but I absolutely love it. I think the colors just work so well together and especially in this room they work very well and they also have cats and I love cats so that's good. I put in some curtains which I don't always do in living rooms or dining rooms or 
like except for bedrooms I usually don't put in curtains because there's just not many curtains and you don't use them anyways because it's the sims and that's it <laughs> we put in a little gnome as you could see there because this is the sims and you need gnomes and llamas and plumbobs because that's what the sims is for um, also I don't know if you guys heard but if you're watching this as it goes out next week on Tuesday I think there will be an announcement for some upcoming stuff packs, game packs, expansion packs, I don't know but just for upcoming content and I'm so excited because we need some more stuff <laughs> I, I noticed especially trying to put in all the little decorations here that there's just not too much stuff in here and we need some more especially like curtains and beds and just things that match, because getting things to match is a pain in this game. But at least it runs very well, unlike The Sims 3, so that's good. We put in a little world globe. I don't know about you, but I love travelers. I'm not a traveler myself, but I love the whole idea of traveling. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't work well for me, but that's okay. Um, we're almost done. We put in this little ship. I think we look around the room a little bit. Move that. Right, we try to put a table in between the couch and the chair, but I wasn't feeling it, so I didn't. And here's the screenshots. But that's it for me. Make sure to check the description if you want to download the room. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, guys.